<laughs> Yesterday, one of the last things that happened was we returned back to our manor, and we actually got confronted by our brother Mycroft, who's now showed up. Well, we kind of confronted him in a way with all the bullshit he's been feeding us. But there should be another room that's opened up inside the manor house, so we're going to go and look at that. Because after the case, we got given this weird mermaid skeleton. Mm -mm. Now just got to find the open door. Mm -hmm. There we go. Upstairs or downstairs? Might might actually be downstairs. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Well, this painting in the flashback we had when we interacted with that sca uh, statue. Another one. There must be something important. You have to find the trigger for this pain for this memory. Oh, and it's this. Ah, there it is. Wood straight smooth. I remember returning home with a pair of perfect sticks. We wanted perfect to sticks, eh? training swords. Oh, that's right. We stood there, frozen, staring at something huge in the main hall. Staring at something huge? What? Female fishtail mysterious. Oh, the statue. A giant aquarium with a living mermaid in it. Impossible. It must have been something else. Dry skeleton rock, yeah. Oh, of course. That mortifying hoax presently taking up space in our front yard. Well, fine. Your memory's better than mine. But I'm sure we started examining it immediately. And someone else was around, too. Hmm. Who else was around? Our mother, I'm guessing. Mother. She asked what I thought of the artifact. You were really concentrating and holding something in your hand. I inspected it with a magnifying glass and was able to confirm it was made of two different skeletons. The mermaid was a fake. And so it was time to smash the thing. Your mother took a hammer and... No, she didn't. Down, John. That's not how it happened. I remember other people joined us. What, Mycroft? The workers. The workers took the artifact and placed it into the Cabinet of Curiosities. It became part of Mother's collection of fakes. She always said that the truth lies in the details. Collection of fakes? Ah, there we go. Ah, yes. My mother's studio. She was an authenticator, and this was her cabinet of curiosities. I never saw the point. What does it matter if some artifact is real or not? It still exists. Hmm. Cozy blanket? I remember this cozy blanket. It was perfect for... Wigwam! Oh, that was a joy to build them. Imagining ourselves as wayfarers on the other side of the world. Oh my god, look at this Cthulhu statue. Look, it's Roger. This jolly old man's well preserved. He even looks refreshed. I doubt he Jolly Roger? Really? Attention. That's for the best. I'd be upset if he fell into the wrong hands. Oh, is he like a figurehead on a ship or something? Uh, dear Mr. Holmes, please take my deepest gratitude for your recent help with the personal uh, with that personal matter. I shudder to think what may have happened were well, not for you, uh, for not your keen up, not for your keen eye and sharp mind. Rest assured, should our paths cross again, um, you will be greeted by a grateful friend, His Honor Judge McDougal. Okay. So many calling cards. Mycroft liked to keep useful people at hand. Hmm. Doesn't surprise me. Reliable and driven. I recognize my cross handwriting. Officer Luciano J. Placido. We know this guy. With that's the uh, p chief inspector who's uh, what kind of death we faked in a way. 
carefully opened. Dated 24th of April, 1869. Uh, Mr. Michael Holmes, the, city, uh, the Cordona City Hall writes to inform you that the trial of Dr. Otto Richter and the death of Miss Viola Holmes has been assigned to his honor, uh, Judge McDougall. Wait, there was a trial? The application uh, for a closed hearing has been granted. You hereby inform that the prosecution has called you as a primary witness in the trial of Dr. Richter. That's our mother's physician. Uh, you must pre present yourself at the criminal court of Kildona on the dates listed. Oh. Okay. Anything else here that I'm missing? I'm, I mean, obviously, there's something I'm missing. Oh, so I can move down. This drawer it was always closed. Only Mycroft knew how to open it. I remember we tried to break it open and spy on him, but alas, had no success. Maybe today's the day. Oh, Sherry. Hmm. We need a lockpick, wouldn't we? 1852, Bingley, West Yorkshire. This photo caused a lot of fuss. My mother spent some time to prove it was a fake. The so-called mummy of a Persian princess. The defrauders did good work, but missed one small detail. It's the mummy of a man. Oh, well. And this one was brought from a German museum. They claimed it belonged to Vikings. Nonsense, of course. Vikings never had horns on their helmets. Yep, true. A torn diploma found in the cabinet of curiosity. Someone deliberately ripped it into several pieces. A reassembled translator, uh, the diploma reads, on the behalf of the board of the University of Geneva, Switzerland, we rectors of the university uh, noting that Mr. Otto Richter has undergone the test required by laws and regulations confirmed him the degree of doctor of medicine, the rights and um, prerogatives so attached. Clearly, it was deliberately torn. I wonder why someone would do that. The Tulpa, studies in Tibetan mentalism. An impressive number of bookmarks. Someone was rather obsessed with this subject. Hmm. This is Holmes is a patient of the considerable interest. In the ideal test subject to explore some of my theories, I will attempt to repeatedly immerse her in the traumatic situation. Oh no, you don't do okay. It's my belief that the uh, reliving that moment may give her uh, her mind a chance to embrace what happened, accept it, and eventually cure itself. I'm constant in the hypnosis and merely uh, nearly need to prove it. In addition, uh, it's to to be uh, around the broader Holmes family. Perhaps I'll be able to also examine the hereditary and psychological traits. Be they uh, competence or disorders, it is already apparent that all family members share an uncommonly high intelligence. It appears that the mother's condition has begun to affect the mind of the youngest boy, Sherlock. While I cannot conduct a proper medical examination due to uh, the protectiveness of the eldest son, See the boy is suffering from hallucinations in the form of an imaginary friend, John. Yep. Dear brother, I heard you recently arrived in Cordona. Have you come to see me? Um do miss our evenings our evening conversations, even if we never agreed on our opinions. Okay, Cordona is the home to stunning new art gallery, which I visit every day. Meet me there. Oh, and do not uh do not seek Klaus. I left that name behind. So that would have been Klaus Richter. Mother said this was among the hunting trophies of a Scottish Viscount. So he tried to persuade everyone that his forest was inhabited by these beasts. It would have been thrilling if it were actually true. Another fake Holy Grail. Oh. Its owner claimed to be the heir of King Arthur. Scarcely believable. 
He also insisted a deadly rabbit was hunting him. Is that a Monty, Monty Python and such a Holy Grail? Like the rabbit of Antioch? Oh, that's all the gang grenade of Antioch, yeah. That was what you need to kill it. Watkinson and Holman, Chapter 1, by Wallace Diorum. Oh, Mycroft. You always act so serious, but then reads tripe like this. John, if I remember correctly, you couldn't put this book down. Watkinson's and Holmson? Hang on, uh, do I need to switch to his challenge? There we go. Any morning footsteps. Ah, the memory comes back. We snuck about watching him. He closed the drawer and went to the hall. We were like two shadows crawling behind him. Mm -mm. Stairs, okay. I was on the mantelpiece by the fireplace. Then he threw some logs into the fire and sat in his armchair to read. It's as boring now as it was then. I'm sorry, Sherry, but I think that's it. Wait, John, we never use the fireplace in the mornings. What if... What's that? A bit of juniper in the fireplace created a soothing atmosphere. It's the little things, isn't it? Is that a key? I think this is what we're looking for. We made it. So what's there? Some booze by looks of it. Single malt whiskey. Mycroft's favourite. Hmm. Gifted by Queen Victoria herself. Oh damn. Off a bottle of fine single malt whiskey, my cross favorite drink. We found it locked in a lock in the drawer of the desk in the Curiosity's cabinet. Among a pile of documents, remarkably, it seems that whiskey was gift by Her uh, Majesty herself. Otto Richter. This one is rather thick. Mycroft can be truly dogged in his research. Tech. <clears throat> Richter was 45, born to a respected family in Bern, Switzerland, unmarried, no heirs. Um, medical practitioner, graduated from the University of Geneva, Switzerland. Graduation was postponed that year due to a minor scandal of one of the, his uh, placements. Parents died of cholera. Only remaining family is a half brother, Klaus. He's changed his name from that. Present whereabouts of Klaus Richter unknown, last seen on uh, Uncle Dona. Dossiers on the most influential people on Cordona. Mycroft always had a habit of building files on everyone he met. Hmm. Okay. Mycroft did not uh, like the methods Dr. Oxalrita and did not trust him. Okay. Done here. One of the most
most ridiculous fakes I ever saw. Its owner insisted it was a polar bear. He thought the white paint on the brown fur wasn't noticeable. Oh, damn. Hard to get a hold of a real polar bear, I mean. Oh, I remember these. We used them to spar together until Mycroft found out and forbade us from using real weapons. Mm -mm. Any more? When you're finished here, can we build a wigwam from the blankets? Like in the good old days. No, John. The full plate armor of Sir Robert Swanford. I was told my father won it in a wager. Armor is armor, but look at his sword. Oh, how badly I wanted to wield the blade. Maybe you take it instead of your pistol. I'm no. To remember something. Okay, you do your own. Uh, nothing. Not drinking anything. <laughs> Look, Aaron. It's the Bulbasaur one, okay? It's so fucking tasty with the green apple and pomegranate boba. It's like, oh, oh, it's so good. So good. Okay? And I got paid today, so I was like, uh, I shouldn't, but I'm gonna. Okay, don't judge me. I use this ladder to look at the top shelf, right? Yeah, it's nearly empty and really sad. I already drank the first right one. You are, Sherry. <laughs> That's where the mermaid used to be, right? We heard a noise. I can't recall of exactly what. And we didn't have a great view from behind the statue. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So good, though. It's so fun. Books and papers from the table somehow ended up on the floor. Now it's coming to the surface. I feel it. Oh, I need to get one of those shower immediately turn purple. Jesus Christ. I need to get one of those shower bags or like holders for, um, well, my shower to put um, shampoo and stuff in it. Because right now I've only, I can only put it on the floor and I hate doing that. No, I don't think it was the night come to life. Ah, it was Mycroft arguing with Dr. Richter, I think. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Sneaking. We weren't doing that because that's making too much noise. So maybe we're just playing at the desk. Hey, Candy. How are you? Welcome on in. There we go. Come on, Sherry. Let's go outside. Wait. Did you hear that? Come here, Sherry. You call this progress? Charlatan. Amateur. I'm not letting you anywhere near my mother again. Been to hear that. So there was a quarrel between them. It all happened shortly after the incident in Violet's room on the April, uh, April 9th. Sherry decided to play with the artifacts in the cabinet of curiosities. Of course, I went with them. As a result, we became unintentional witnesses to an argument between Mycroft and Dr. Otto Ritter, Richter. Sherlock's brother was angry. He was sure that Dr. Richter had done something dubious to his, their mother. And it, it uh, and that it backfired. He called Otto, Otto a charlatan. Oh my god. Hard to read that sentence. I had to seize the, the whole time, but then it went away. Let's check it out. Noise in the hall. More guests. Nanny. A row. Hey, what? Sherry, look. We've got a parcel here. 
Oh, am I going to a masquerade? Dear Mr. Holmes, I'm waiting uh, for you at Kurt um, Manchon's mansion. Cross from Cordona. Okay. Cross from Cordona Abbey. Come at once if, uh, if it's not too inconvenient. Always your friend, VV. Oh, Werner Vogel. Yes, I, I sent you a, an, a, the appropriate outfit to wear. An invitation that comes with a mask. Oh, I'm going to a, a ball. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I don't like that mask. I don't like that mask one bit. No. Mm -mm. You can't miss this, Sherry. Lord, look at me. Oh, Lord. Look at me, look at me. Just put oh, hands in there. Like, it's good to be alive. Right, so across from Cordona Abbey. There. Hmm. Do we really question why I'm dressed like this? No? The running animation in this outfit looks weird though, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. Why do I think it's here? This looks like some of people having a party. Yeah, there we go. Good evening! Welcome, sir. I do hope you enjoy yourself. So do I. Enjoy the evening, sir. There is still plenty of time before the grand finale. All right. Oh. What kind of party is this? Oh. Booty. write an article about these people here. Can you help me gather information about Cordona's elite? Is that a bet, John? <laughs> you have such pretty hands. What can we do with them? A lot, my dear. Oh, John. Goodness, Jesus Christ, John. No, John, it's definitely not blood, just wine. The whores, I guess. Ah, play something, my good man. Me. It's not easy to play blindfolded. Fair enough. Hmm. <laughs> write an article? What does he want to write an article about? I need a rest from my insatiable wife. <laughs> He's insatiable. I guarantee we'll have a good time. Pyromaniac? Oh my. Madam. Who? Sherlock. Friend. How did you know it was me? Werner, I uh, see you are not yourself. The more time you spend here in Cordona, the more I feel it my duty to bring you into our world and show you all we have to offer. And what is on offer today? Pleasure, indulgence, relief, and relaxation. You've earned some time for yourself, have you not? 
those who know me would say I'm incapable of it. <laughs> Nonsense. I refuse to believe there is anyone permitted to know Sherlock Holmes. Huh. You may be right. Then free yourself from inhibition and expectation. The night is young, and so are the guests. You should try to enjoy both. It's not healthy for handsome men to spend every night alone. And certainly not in a house filled with such melancholic memories. I must admit, my travels have proven more taxing than expected. I'm less confident in my life and myself. A time of relaxation seems a distant dream. So can I tempt you with a physical aid to your moral consolations? There's wine, of course. Something to smoke. Or perhaps an artificial paradise? Yes, something more... Oh yeah, Sherlock Holmes and drugs. Great combo. Wine. A 7% solution of... Well, that'd be telling. But you must try it. My mind is my most valuable asset and a finely tuned instrument. I will not risk impeding its function. My ultimate duty is to provide the world with truth, and I do that perfectly well as is. Duty? You've never cared about that before. Of course I do. Exposing a lie, revealing a fact, that is a moral responsibility. <laughs> That's not morality. Morals are what happens afterwards when truth collides with consequence. Do you ever follow up on cases you solved? Do you ever see what happened next? Visit the victims? Ensure justice is served in the courts? And how do you choose where to direct your attention? Are there not deserving causes to which your brilliance could be applied but isn't? You ascribe me more power than I possess. I have a narrow skill set and work within that mandate. What occurs afterward is irrelevant. With every action or inaction, you place a finger on the scales of morality. Many in the city would see you as abdicating your responsibility. I, I haven't. Not me, of course. Morality is subjective, just like truth. There is little to be gained from indulging in it, and far better things to indulge in. Now I must insist on easing any burdens I've placed upon your shoulders. Show yourself a kindness, and try this rather delectable concoction. Uh, no. I am perfectly capable of coping with myself without medical assistance. And I shall press you on it no further. But please, do not refuse my gift. Take it with you, as a souvenir of this special night. Souvenir of what, exactly? But, all right, if only to put the matter to bed. And now, our evening begins in earnest. <laughs> I just remembered. I'm sorry, Sherlock. My mind's delightfully impaired. Please take this key. It opens the altar room, past the library. Pardon? Altar room? What now, Verna? Go quickly and find our Fabio. Only you can make him talk. I'll join you in a minute. All I wanna do is get high and enjoy of you. That was all that was going through my head that whole time. <laughs> uh, wow. You know what, Aaron? No, I'm gonna refund you those points because that one, you cannot stop me. Mm hmm. These medieval botany and chemistry books look even more satanic than the occult ones. Romantic poetry and prose. Someone's in touch with their feelings. Codex Orchis. Why does this occult book sound like a flower? Do not know. That would be something you could tell me. Well, what are you up to in here, John? Well-known and recent plays to keep up to date with the current trends. One of these books must open a secret passage. I know it. John's extremely childlike. But I do think he is definitely the, the alter ego in a way of... Holmes is extremely, you know, uh, serious at all times. And he got the childlike side of him, which is his imaginary friend, John. Curtains do not guarantee privacy. John, don't peek you on people. You still need a crack, despite being ethereal. You still need a crack. Well, you know what was here before Mangio's foray. I know the eerie history of the mansion. No. Magic circle fraud. No.
Oh, I got most of them wrong, but I find figured it out before it failed. Uh, the pool machine was found when he, the mansion was owned by an occultist architect. He dedicated his life to conducting a powerful ritual from a forgotten tome. Uh, but the ordinary magic circles proved too weak for it. Uh, that was why he built this mansion. A keen eye might notice the shapes correspond to a certain magical symbols. And some walls have um, caveats. Or cavities, sorry, not caveats. One day the architect simply disappeared. An ash stain on the floor was all that remained. Hmm. That's what I like about this party. Bring me more dirt, Sherry. One more piece, and I can expose these base hedonists. Jesus Christ. I don't see anybody else um, I can eavesdrop on. Are you drinking directly from thing? Hey, Ansa, I see that look in your eyes. Oh, Jesus. Do you know anything about this? No, I've never heard of it. But I can help you with something else. Oh, my. Want to go somewhere more private? Give me another time. Hmm. I'm guessing this is where it wants me to go. I don't really want to go there because I want to finish John's bet first. Hmm. More dance and friendly. Are you able to help me? No, I've heard nothing. But I can help you with something else. Jesus. Nothing here. Maybe that's the right way to go. Because we needed a key. So I'm thinking maybe go in here first. You enjoy yourself, mate. Nancho's had to enforce the mask. Cover the identity of the um, cover the identity disclosure scandal. Cheating groom. An invited priest. Okay. You pull to attend. Been a duchess. Fired after incident. Too ugly without a mask. We found two of them. Oh dear. Nancho's had to. Hmm. There we go. Perfect. Nancho's had to. Wait, I failed it. Oh, there must have been a fourth one. Oh, cheating groom. People described the scandal from a previous party. Vice Governor Cowden uh, was found by his wife to be a, a Prussian duchess in the company of a young... Oh, company of young men. Although the marriage was intended to be a political one, the emotions of the Duchess were real. I'll pin oh, them down bless. This scoop. Thank you, Sherlock. Okay, John's mission is completed. Right, to the altar room. Oh. Um. Hey, what? My God. Was he here this whole time? Oh, lovely. 